extremely important. So if somebody searches for your company name in Google, clicks a link in Google to go to your company website, and it shows up in the referrer, the marketing automation software says, John Smith used the name XYZ to get to your website. That shows that John Smith has conscious recognition of your company name. That's huge. And so there's a ton of different factors like this. Site search within a website. So prospect hits your website, and when they're on your actual site, on your internal site search, they search for words that show buying intent. Right? So if they go to your website and they type in pricing in the search box, that shows up at their profile. That's incredibly valuable that they're actively looking for pricing information. It doesn't get any better than that. If they literally type in what they want on your site and you have it associated with them, you know exactly what they want. You're not guessing based on their browsing behavior. So capturing intent both from external sources, like referrers, search terms, capturing intent on the actual website, pages visited, things downloaded, search terms within the website. This is all digital behavior that's going on right now on everybody's website. Marketing Automation captures it all and makes it really actionable by having that universal cookie. So it's one cookie for the email marketing piece, one cookie for the landing page piece, one cookie for the lead tracking, for the score, for the grade, for the forms, for the site search. It's all one universal cookie. And then setting up the service level agreement between sales and marketing. Right, the idea that marketing says, we will not handle, we will not hand sales a lead unless it has a score of X, a grade of Y, and these behaviors performed. And you literally set up these rules. It's sort of like setting up different conditionals or filters in Microsoft Outlook. And so all these if else statements, you say, this is our service level agreement between sales and marketing. And the software is just constantly running those rules over and over again based on the data it has. And then, of course, at the very end of the day, from the marketing perspective, it's closing the loop on the return on investment reporting. Right? So there's a famous quote from John Wanamaker. I know 50% of my marketing works, but I don't know which 50%. Everything online is tracked. Everything online, you have the lead and the prospect's digital behavior. So no longer is it guessing. No longer is it saying, 